is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know, just right there, right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda, G-E-E. K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there, too. And it's time to get this right your video started. Alright, y'all. This was a request, and it's called Ada Shakti. It means, like, Shiva and, and Shakti put together. The feminine Brahm of the universe. I was like, you know, because I've been, I've been all about wanting to watch my Lord Shiva videos. I have. So, you know, I want to check this out. It's the power of God Mother, the energy of the cosmos. Oh, we got to check this out. Y'all ready to check this out with, with me? Adi, Adi Sha Shakti. Let's go. The concept of Shiv Shakti has its deep roots there in it the is. philosophy of yoga. Oh, yoga, that's what in the tradition of Tantra Yoga, seen as manifest and unmanifest. In yoga, the union of Shiva and Shakti is seen as the union of consciousness and energy. One cannot exist without the other. They are the and mirror Shiva image of each other. Together, snake. they become the indestructible force. The masculine and feminine that is present within each and every individual they always and the cosmos as a whole. Shakti means power or energy. It is fundamental concept in Hinduism, which is often associated with the feminine principle and personified by Devi, the primordial goddess of Hinduism. In Hinduism, Shakti is seen as the cause of creation, the element of change, as well as the cause of union or liberation. Its most significant form is Kundalini Shakti. According to Shaktism, Adi Vara Shakti appeared as the eternal pure divine consciousness that is Shunya Bindu, the zero feminine divine deep. energy, which is then expressed as Prakriti or universal nature. Therefore, Adi Vara Shakti is Param Prakriti. The concept of Adi Shakti is very similar to modern discoveries in the field of modern science and technology. Oh, a shift in energy vaccines. is the basic entity that is a base of all, as energy doesn't require a base. When energy exists, even after destruction of universe, mm. science named it the black energy, the black responsible energy. for like destruction and vacuum energy that creates a universe. The energy that exists even after the destruction and before creation is called zero energy, or sacred energy. Scriptures like Devi Bhagavati Puran, four Vedas considered Kali Kali. as dark energy that dissolves the oh entire God. universe along with time. Lalita gives birth to the universe in the form of cosmic egg that manifested the universe. Finally, Adi Shakti is the zero energy that exists this gets even complicated. after the destruction oh my of the universe and before this its is... creation. Adi Para Shakti, Adi Shakti and Shakti are synonyms and presents the same power oh, that metamorphosed from one to another. If you look at it with eternity, they look the same. They are born from the same things, but they look different from each other. Adi Para Shakti represents the cosmic power of universe. Adi Shakti represents the ancient power of planet Earth and Shakti represents the power or true nature that is available on earth. The followers of the Vedas worship her as a Param Brahma or the eternal spirit. Adi Shakti manifests in the masculine form of Lord Brahma, Lord Vishnu and Lord Shiva as their active force. The Divine Mother Para Shakti created the trinity of gods called Shiva, Vishnu and Brahma. This creation was done by infusing her energy through the separation method. She also created the goddess trinity called Mahakali, Mahalakshmi and Mahasaraswati, who as the soul mate of gods were to fulfill the designated task of creation, preservation and destruction of nature. The creator, this form of the god destroyer. and goddesses created by Parashakti should not be interpreted as a male and female physical body. 
but rather subtle and illusory forms of nature. They were the parts of Mother Adi Parashakti. Mm. According to Tantra, she is the causative force that brings forth the that universe. Infinity. From the union of Purush and Prakriti, or Lord Shiva and Shakti creation emerges. The action results from positive and negative forces. At the root of the creative force, we find Adi Shakti, the universal mother. The researchers agree that energy is the root factor of creation. By dividing the atom, modern scientists took advantage of a force powerful enough to devastate the entire world in a few minutes. She is everywhere and yet she is invisible, like the inactive Kundalini. She is Pran, but she is also the subtle energy that gives rise to Pran. She is the seeker and is the ultimate happiness. She is the energy she of the Kama. Oh, energy Thank you of the so cosmos. much guys for watching this video. If you liked it. I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to have to watch that like 20 more times. That was a lot to take in. I was getting confused. The, the Shakti here and then they have this one and that one. I'm going to have to take notes. <laughs> that was a lot to take in. That was. But I mean it, it, it talks about like the the birth of of creation right like the energy and you're gonna have to, i'm gonna have to get out my physics books <laughs> to understand this it's complicated it's deep though anything worth right anything like worth gaining the knowledge it, it shouldn't always it, it doesn't always have to come easy sometimes you gotta work for it that's one right there well, I enjoyed it, but I'm going to have to go watch this like 20 more times to, to try to take it all in. Let me know what y'all think. Anything to help? Comments, thumbs, all that. Till next time. Mwah!